हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वील स्टडी अबाउट ग्लोबल वार्मिंग आई एम डॉक्टर प्रीति माथुर एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ जोलॉजी एस पी सी गवर्नमेंट कॉलेज अजमेर न वॉट इज ग्लोबल वार्मिंग ग्लोबल वार्मिंग इज द राइजिंग एवरेज टेम्परेचर ऑफ अर्थ क्लाइमेट सिस्टम कॉल्ड ग्लोबल ग्लोबल वार्मिंग and is driving changes in rainfall patterns extreme weather arrival of seasons and more collectively global warming and its effects are known as climate change while there have been prehistoric periods of global warming observed changes since the mid 20th century have been unprecedented and predicted in rate and scale in this slide students global warming is shown clearly here you can see the clear rise in temperature change in temperature in the last 50 years you can see the map here all this yellow portion it is all rise in temperature and over here every year every after every 10 years you can see there is a slight rise in temperature that is 0.2 to 0.5 in yellow yellow portion you can see so this is global warming and it is the intergovernmental panel on climate change concluded that human influence on climate has been the dominant cause of observed warming since the mid 20th century these findings have been recognized by the national science academies of major nations and are not disputed by any scientific body of national or international standing the largest human influence has been the emission of greenhouse gases with over 90% of the impact from carbon dioxide and methane fossil fuel burning is the principal source of these gases with agricultural emissions and deforestation also playing significant roles to tapman mein vriddhi that is rise in temperature is enhanced by self reinforcing climate feedbacks such as loss of snow cover ye effects hain iske loss of snow cover increased water vapor means the water vapor is increased and melting perm frost melting perm frost what is perm frost it is the uh, very hard layer of ice which is present in the uh, caps of the अपना मैप जो है उसके कैप्स पर जो है आर्कटिक एंड एंटार्कटिक पोर्शंस जो हैं उन पर जो एनवायरनमेंट है उससे आइस फॉर्मेशन होता है एंड व्हेन दैट आइस इज फ्रोजन इनटू वेरी हार्ड रॉक दैट इज नोन एज पर्म फ्रॉस्ट सो दिस ग्लोबल वार्मिंग इट इज अ नेचुरल प्रोसेस एंड इट कीप्स द अर्थ वॉम एंड it is generally due to human activity and the main source of greenhouse effect are the greenhouse gases i repeat the main source of greenhouse effect are the greenhouse gases you can see the diagram here when the solar energy passes through the atmosphere warming the earth then some some of the sun's energy is reflected back into the space and then some of the that is there in greenhouse gases in the atmosphere they trap some of the they trap some of the heat so this is the effect which is shown in this diagram okay now in this slide students you can see the major greenhouse gases this is a very important slide and you should all remember you should know the different types of greenhouse gases firstly carbon dioxide then water vapor third methane fourth is nitrous oxide 
and fifth is chlorofluorocarbons chlorofluorocarbons you can see the diagrams over here see the due to heat and this all these chimneys from that all steam is coming out that is very hot it is making the environment very very hot and here in the next diagram you can see all uh, rough things are all kept over here so these are all spoiling the environment now students in this slide you can clearly see two pictures it is of same place it is of a glacier national park of usa and the upper picture it is of 1932 when the glacier was present in this national park this is before the warming this is before the global warming and the second picture after the warming after the global warming what happens see the picture the glacial national park its scenario has been changed the same and it is in 1988 see the situation see the position in the top picture there is lots of ice ice is all present everywhere and in the second picture ice is all melted so this is the effect of global warming now a reality in pictures before the global warming in peru in 1980 you can see the picture one and after the warming in peru in 2002 you can see the picture two now you see the picture in first picture there is lots of ice in second picture all ice has been melted another example of kilimanjaro in 1970 you can see the ice caps present over here and after the warming kilimanjaro in 2000 you can see the picture you can see the change clearly over here in these two pictures this is due to global warming next picture which i am i want to show you is about nepal 1978 it was before global warming nepal was like this there was all ice present ice caps were all there and the second picture you see after the global warming in nepal 2004 the ice is all melted and the, all the uh, mountains can be seen and the ice caps uh, ice is all melted over here okay now another reality in pictures is ev even more obvious this these pictures of north polar cap from nasa nasa show a melting of 25% in 25 years see these pictures upper one observed sea ice september 1979 and second one is observed sea ice september 2003 so you see the difference in the pictures so what are greenhouse gases greenhouse gases trap heat radiating from the earth to space the heat in the form of infrared radiation gets absorbed and emitted by these gases in the atmosphere thus warming the lower atmosphere and the surface before the industrial revolution naturally occurring amounts of greenhouse gases cause the air near the surface to be warmer by about 33 degrees centigrade that is 59 degrees fahrenheit then it would be in their absence without the earth's atmosphere the earth's average temperature would be well below the freezing temperature of water while water vapor and clouds are the biggest contributors to the greenhouse effect they increase as a function of temperature and are therefore considered feedbacks increased concentrations of gases such as carbon dioxide ozone and nitrous oxide are external forcing on the other hand ozone acts as a greenhouse gas in the lowest layer of the atmosphere the troposphere it is highly reactive and interacts with other greenhouse gases and aerosols So now that's all about greenhouse gases students now i end here thank you 
and I again repeat my name that is I am Dr. Preeti Mathur, Associate Professor, Department of Zoology, SPC, Government College Ajmer. My email address is given below. If you have any query, you may talk to me. Okay, thank you.